Before the pandemic, we knew that around 43% of 18 to 24 year olds had a diagnosed mental health challenge. The times we find ourselves in are likely to have exacerbated that statistic. There are no stronger advocates for the need to support students in their overall well being than the students themselves. So, when I was a candidate for this position, they advocated on every campus for support for their well being with an emphasis on mental health, and I listened to them. So, we pulled together PRISM, the President's Initiative for Student Mental Health, to really take a multi dimensional view on how we can support student well being research into the underlying cause, but we're not waiting for those answers before we make sure that we've stepped up to support our students where they are. Making sure we have the right services in the right places. We also want to incentivize and create resources for new ways to provide well-being. Not all students need clinical care. We need to support the students, and then we need to support the people supporting the students. So faculty and staff and community partners need our attention, our resources, our insights as well. And then we want to be a good partner to K-12 and other members of the community so that we can help them with all of the lessons that we've learned and be a part of an overall effort towards community well-being. Our faculty, staff, and students are lining up to try to be a part of the solution. They want to feel better, they want their own well-being, but they also want it for each other, they want it for the community, and that's incredibly motivating and frankly very empowering for those on the front line working in this space.